Alright, today I'm going to go over how to make Orion Drift profile pictures and thumbnails from start to finish, showing every step. It is really easy to do and completely free. All you need is to have a PC or laptop. So the very first step is to go onto the description and click the very first link for the Orion Drift player model rig. After that, go to the second link in the description to download Blender. Click this button and follow the installer. Next up, open Blender. This is the beginning screen. Here you're going to click open, then go to downloads and find the player model you downloaded. Double click it and you're going to be met with this. Now, this is all going to look overwhelming, but I'm here to help. First of all, let's talk about this player. You're gonna want to change its color, pattern and eye texture. Look at this bottom part here, which by the way, if you don't see, over on the right, go to the A2 robot model and then click shading on the top. Anyway, in this menu, zoom in with your mouse scroll wheel and move with the middle mouse button. Select robot color and select it to anything you want. Next up, to change the pattern, just select which of these three patterns you want. Camel, fire or tiger. If you want to change the badge, drag the slider from 0 to 2 and it will change. If you don't want any badge, put this to minus 1. Now let's change the eye textures. If you want triangle eyes, hexagon eyes, or circle eyes, and also the eye color can be changed here. After you're done with shading, I suggest you right click and click close area. Now how do we move? Use the middle mouse button to rotate around. If you hold down shift and use the middle mouse button, you can drag like this. Now to change whether you're blinking or not, on the left select move, select the circle, and then move it up or down. To change your hardball number, move these two numbers. I also suggest you remove this text because it really could ruin your thumbnail looks and you can add it back later in the video. And also before you do anything else, drop down blinking and then select both number ones and then delete them. So now let's change the pose of the player model. You're going to want to click on the circle, then go to pose mode, then look on the right where it says pose. You're going to want to drop down and select anything you want. For example, let's move the left hand and then click move on the left. By the way, this is important. If you want both of your hands to move, then make sure this is on. If you want to move only one hand, make sure this is off. I'm going to keep it on. We can move the hands in any direction we want. If you want to rotate the hand, click rotate on the left and then move it around. Also, if you want to move the head, drop down upper torso and then select head. So now once you get a pose done, let's render this image. But before you do any of that, go to object mode, go to render properties, then drop down film, and select transparent. Then go to output properties and make sure the file format is PNG and the color is RGBA. To render the image, you have two choices. If you want your lightning to look like your looks right now in the preview, go with method A. If you want to add dynamic lighting, then go with method B. You're going to want to move your preview to what you want it to look like, for example like this, then remove the gizmo, then go to view and click viewport render image. And here's your render. After this, go to image, save as, and name it something and save it to your downloads folder. Then skip to the timestamp in the video. Now for method B, first of all, click add and then add a camera. Then click on this camera button right here. If you don't see it, you can go to view, cameras, active camera. Then go to view, navigation, walk navigation. Now using WASD and your mouse, put your camera where you want it to be and then click your left mouse button. Now move away using your middle mouse button and then go to add, light, point. Now select this point light, go to object mode, select move and move it around to in front of where the player's torso or head is. Then go to this light bulb and set the power to 20. You can also change the color of it, but do not change any of the other settings. Once you're done, go to render and render image. It will take a while, so wait like 15 to 20 seconds for the image to fully render. If you don't like the result, you can change the light by moving it further or away. After this, go to image, save as, and name it something and save it to your downloads folder. Alright, once you save your render, you're going to want to go to the third link in the description called photopia.com. Here, skip to the timestamp of what you want to make. So to make a profile picture, go to new project, set the width and height to the same amount, then click create. Make sure transform controls is on. So now let's set the background to a certain color or gradient. Click on this log, then double click the right part of this background element. Now whether you want to add a color or gradient, that's up to you. I'm going to go with gradient. Add this check, click gradient overlay, and then go to this gradient element. Here, click the squares on the bottom and set the color to anything. Alright, and now I'm done with the background. Now go to your downloads and drag in your rendered image into Photopia. Then make sure your image is higher than the background. 
then resize it and boom, you're done. You can do other things like changing the color, shadows, blur, etc. And if you want me to make a detailed video about it, let me know in the comments. But for this, I'm just going to be done. Go to File, Export and select PNG. Then just hit save and you're done. Now skip to this timestamp. Alright, the thumbnail is a bit more complicated. Click new project and set the width to this amount, which is YouTube standard, then hit create. Make sure transform controls is on. Click on this lock, then double click the right part of this background element. Now whether you want to add a color or gradient, that's up to you. I'm going to go with gradient. Add this check, click gradient overlay, and then go to this gradient element. Here, click the squares on the bottom and set the color to anything. Alright, and now I'm done with the background. Now go to your downloads and drag in your rendered image into Photopia. Then make sure your image is higher than the background. Then resize it and boom, you're done. Now here if you want to add more elements, like more player models, if you want to give them shadows, blur effects, let me know in the comments and I'll make a more detailed video. But for now, let's just add a text element. Click this text on the left and then click where you want it to start. Type in what you want. You can click on the text element, click this T and then give it any font or color. I'm going to go with enter black. Now I'm not going to teach you how to make a proper thumbnail, but what you want to know is that you should keep it to three elements max, make the colors stand out and make everything quite big so that even on mobile devices everyone could see. You can zoom out with control and then plus or minus and this is what it will look like for most people. Go to file, export and select PNG. And then just hit save and you're done. So this is it. I hope I helped. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or want any help. See you next video.